I know you might be thinking that is like way, way, way overdue between the nail ends and the screws and the, and the liquid nails. Whew. But I don't want this thing moving. So that's the big thing. And if somebody ever has to come in and do the tear out besides me, good luck. <laughs> um, yeah, I may have over engineered it a little bit, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. putting green board in uh, both sides uh, not in here uh, that'll be dura rock uh, but I'm doing it here for the sheetrock purposes I just have a screw up I ran on the screws the other day I look like a one-arm paper hanger is what I look like so um, and then I have the uh, a piece of uh, what they call corner bead if I can get it in the film uh, it's pretty tall right now because I didn't cut it yet. But anyway, this will go corner bead here and corner bead here. That'll just make the edge look nice and clean. If you're wondering why I'm putting uh, green board in versus Durarock up here, painted, I know a lot of you going, no, tile it, tile it. I don't want tile up there. Uh, so I'm going to have tile come down here all the way through. I'm not going to tell you or show you what kind of tile I'm doing yet, but uh, this is going to get painted. I have some paint from Sherwood Williams. Uh, that when I get to that point that I'll show you
Thank you. I lay mine basically like that. What you're trying to do, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get in the corner for it to fold and stick that mud right in the center of it. Because you can see how much mud is right there that you've already gotten. So again, if I lay it in there, I'm kind of pushing. I don't want to push so hard that it pulls the mud off of it. But what I want to do is get enough mud to get it to bead into the corner. That's what I'm trying to trying to accomplish there. I don't want a bunch of these start and stops because that just so just take that. And if you can see right there, it's kind of hard to see. I don't have enough light in here to really do it justice. But you can see where the fiber tape is. I'm going to take this and bring it back over here. So you can see how much mud I have on that. And I'm okay with that because I'm going to go back over here and try to pull a plain line. Looks like some of it's still wet, which I was kind of figured it would be, but I figured I'd get a shot. So it looked like this whole thing was dry except for the edge, which I kind of dug in there, so I'll have to fix that. I'm going to bring a heater in to kind of heat up the room a little bit more, see if I can't get it dried out before the afternoon, so that way I can get uh, another coat on this today.
right, I've got everything wrapped up uh, on the rebuild part of this. Uh, the next stage is obviously the shower pan. I do want to show you some of the things that I have going on uh, with it so that way you're really clear. I wasn't too vocal in this one. I, I was vocal when I needed to be vocal, but uh, um, I try to leave uh, the captions in there. That way you guys all knew exactly what I was doing. There is one thing that I do want to show you though, and that's setting the valve really quick. Um, I did get an opportunity to do that in the last video, and I want to make sure I am getting that into you as, uh, that information into you as well in this one. One of the things that you can do, that's big white out on the screen here, is if you have a piece of half-inch sheetrock or dura rock or something like that laying around that you can use prior to your install, um, I would just use a sample piece of that, and as you can see, I kind of have it setting on the plastic cover. That's the mud cover for the valve. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get this in an area where it's stuck out just far enough and not, or just stuck in too far. I know that's kind of a weird way to say that. I'm going to want to bring it in, push it in just a little bit. That way it takes a half inch piece of sheetrock and uh, the tile and the mortar. So by the time I get done, I'm just going to have the very edge of this uh, mud ring or mud cover uh, showing. So that's about where I want it. Now, if you were doing a walk-in shower, you would want to bring that out a little bit further, like almost the entire cap showing, just so you have that room. So I've got everything done that I needed done to it. Uh, insulation in is in with a vapor barrier. The ceiling is sanded, mudded in, ready to go. Uh, the piping's in, the plumbing's in. I even built a shower niche. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use that or not. I just, I'm, I'm still on the fence. I guess when it comes time, I'll, I'll know whether I use it. Um, I've got the 2x4 running up against that. That way there's some uh, stability in the wall and somewhere to screw to the Durarock. i got a block in so that way I can stabilize it. Um, I've got all my blocking in for the pan and everything to go. So that way it'll give some support. So that's it. That's all I've got. Um, I'm pretty happy. So that's it. That's all I've got. I'm pretty happy with the build that we got done. I got done uh, doing. Um, so the next stage is the shower pan and um, and going from there. So I guess until then we'll we'll see you later. And I appreciate you all watching. <music>